Hey, what's up, ladies and gentlemen? I'm Isalea, and welcome to the CreatorGalaxy.com space station. Here in space, we are experimenting with intergalactic filmmaking skills and visual effects. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about something really cool. I actually did a video in collaboration with Adobe where we did plenty of awesome visual effects. And in today's video, I wanna dive in on how we did the hue shift effect in the course of the green. So in this case, we switched the greens from the grass and the trees into a purple scenery, which is really cinematic and really cool, for example, for uh, music videos. So let's see how I've done that. All right, so here I am in Adobe Premiere Pro. And as you can see, I have this scene here. Uh, I will import that or just drag it into my timeline. And then I will go to the color tab. If you don't see that, you can go to window, workspaces, color. And there we go. And then I want to use the Lumetri color to shift only my hues. So as you can see, I'm not wearing any specific colors that are very relatable to the background here. So that's very important that you take note of that. And then we can go into the curves right here and we see the hue saturation curves. So you have um, a lot of different variations here. You have the hue versus saturation, the hue versus hue, and this is exactly the one we wanna use. So as we can see, the green also has actually a lot of yellow. So yellow is kind of close to our skin tone. So we have to be really careful where we select our color here. So I'm going to start here just next to the orange and click on the yellow. And then I will go a little bit further, maybe even close towards the cyan colors and make another dot. And then close to these, I will make a second dot. And this one we will bring up or down. So we can now go and start shifting these hues. And that looks really, really cool. So we can bring this up, see how that works. That's looking really cool. All right. And then we can also shift this one more to the left to have a nicer gradient look. And maybe top one also move it over until we don't see any spill anymore in the backdrop. So this is looking pretty nice. What you can do now is to increase the saturation is adding another Lumetri color because the hue versus saturation is actually just above uh, the hue versus hue, as you can see right here. And this won't affect the second color right here. So we will have to go back to the top, go here and add a Lumetri color effect. Now we will go back to the curves and we will see that everything has been reset. And in our effects controls, we can see we just added a second Lumetri color. So here I wanna go for the purple and blue tints around here and here and just bring up the saturation for the purples or actually the pinks. So now we can go back to the other Lumetri color by selecting here this uh, first one and we can still shift a little bit more with these colors to see if we want a different look, maybe a little bit more purple here. So we will drag it up even more and higher and then go back in the second one and play around with these until you're satisfied with your look. And that's looking pretty cool. All right, so there we have it, how to switch the hues in Adobe Premiere Pro using the RGB curves, which gives you a really cool vibe. And yeah, hope you have fun with that. I'll see you in the next one. Take care and goodbye.